people are comfortable with it, Martin. To be honest, how do um, moving on? How do Manchester City supporters feel Matt, about their season? Because uh, they drew at Chelsea last weekend, but then they drew at home to Hull yesterday. They're out of the FA Cup. They lost at home to Middlesbrough. What's going wrong for Manuel Pellegrini in this Manchester City side? Well, I, I imagine the supporters are thinking we're going to come second. Um, I would have thought um, that's that's looking pretty stark. I just I think I mean I put Chelsea first. Chelsea used the second. If you if you don't win the league. Chelsea yeah, well, I think it will be. It'll, it'll have to be a discussion. There's, there's no two ways about that. And I just think, I've just thought from the start of the season. Um, I mean, I think. I, I, well, I'm sure I tipped Chelsea to come just because I, I, I trusted Chelsea more not not to drop silly points. I think there was always there's always been that sense with City that it's possible that they're going to drop silly points like like yes, yesterday at home um, against Hull. I think it's a few things. I mean, I think the. Um, Central midfield partnership, Fernando Fernandinho looks. Yeah, they they can do the destructive side well. I just when you have got the two of them together, there's a massive lack of creativity there. Um, the lack of Yaya Torre, even though he's can be hot and cold, but the thing, the fact is that his record when he's playing, they are more likely to win. That's mm. proven in the stats yeah. quite spectacularly. I think um, they miss him. I think you know you got a player like Jovetic, who was a big money signing, who's been very peripheral in and out. And there's been quite a lot of big money changes to the squad without absolute sure proof that they are improving the team. That's the mm. trouble. Um, this is where Chelsea have got it right. Every big money signing they've made in the last couple of years um, has made a notable improvement to the team. And in, in City's case, they seem to be, you know, let's go and buy Wilfred Boney to try and cover up the fact that Negredo or Jovetic hasn't mm. quite worked mm. out. Um, or, you know, J and Dzeko... One minute he's on a hot streak, next minute he's out. So they just don't have that, you know, you don't look at them and think, right, with that team, they're going to win nine out of ten I matches in the, in the same way. And, and that's bound to, even though Pellegrini doesn't have full control of the transfer strategy, it's bound to put um, a heat uh, on a manager with the expectations they have. It was, was it five trophies in five years? They were mm -hmm. almost sort of daft enough to go on the record with that. And that, uh, you yeah. You don't deliver. You're going to get sacked. But well, they got two in the bank because they won the Capital One Cup last se season, didn't they? They won the Premier League. So I don't think two. it's ever been any different at City since they've come in with the billion pound odd investment they've had. The two years they won the league was similar. Their, their performances were very similar to this season. They weren't massively consistent. It was just Man United and, and last season Chelsea and Liverpool didn't quite execute at the end of the season in, in the way that you would expect them to and the way you'd expect Chelsea to this season. I don't think Man City have ever dominated a league in the way that they should with the, the investment they've had. No. Mm. Well, well, they don't score enough goals, do they, through the team? You, they're still very, very reliant on Aguero. You look at guys like Jesus Navas, um, even Sami Nasri, the, the goal return this season is 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 is, is appalling, really. From 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 a team that's had that much investment in it, they really should be guys. Midfield players should be on approaching double figures. I mean, when you when you consider that you know the goals that Frank Lampard has managed to get there, coming off the bench at the age of what is he now, 98 or something <laughs> like that, and, and it, you know coming off, coming off the bench. And pops didn't up in the, the right bench, areas. You know, no, didn't no, 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 no I didn't get off the bench. No, but you, you look at you look at Navas and you think, well, what, why aren't you why aren't you getting at those positions, mate? I mean, it was 15 million, was he Navas? Maybe a little bit more. You know, mm. you, you, you shouldn't have a midfielder that doesn't score goals if you if you're paying close to you know 15, 20 million for it. Mm. You know, they they need to address <laughs> things like that. They do, yeah. Not a big game for City on Tuesday, of course. Who are they playing? New York City are playing St Mirren at uh, the Etihad campus. Did you know that? I didn't know. There that. you go. Get yourself yeah. up there. It's New York City's first uh, sort of uh, official game as such. That is, yeah. And of course, it's not in New York City. It's it's in, in Manchester, <laughs> yeah, against against St Mirren, which obviously they've they've been they've been looking forward to a match against St Mirren in New York for many many years. The Cosmos often used to say, "But when are we going to see St Mirren?" <laughs>